This is GTV Slayer at theclassicgamer.com. Today I am doing a deprived starting uh, tutorial. See. Um, I did this tutorial before, but my YouTube footage got destroyed somehow in the upload process. So here I am doing it again. Shoutouts to B2 Wolverine for helping me level up my main character, Disaster J for. making some cool strategy videos. Um, also shout outs to Oreo MCP and Optimus Grime uploads. And a couple of shout outs to Flapjack Ashley and who else do I, am I missing? Oh yeah, and Synapse, my PlayStation buddies. All right, when you come up on this dude, don't run. So, um, I'm doing a deprived. They start naked. And, um, they start with, at level one, but over time to get the best stats because as you level up you get more points to, to work with um, also when we pick our starting item like our gift we're going to go with the petrified something because if you drop that in the bird's nest you get something awesome last time I played or last time I tried to do this video um, I got a whip when I got to like 20 decks or whatever it was to equip it. That thing was awesome. Alright, let's try this again. Ah. So we're starting naked. Alright, I'm cool with the way the guy looks. So I'm just going to go straight down and deprive. I'm going to go to my gift. Petrified something. Done. Sure. Here for the same that is one reason. ugly bitch. Alright. So we're just going to do the, the first little side thing that you can do in the starter area. Because we're naked. And we shouldn't be fighting ogres yet. Although if you do kill those two ogres that are side by side, you can come back to that later over there in the distance and she gives you a ladle. I don't know what the hell that does though. Die! Alright, I'm gonna light the torch. Toggle light torch. I just like to light the first one so I know where not to go or to go at the end. Alright, so X, light that bitch. And then I'm going to press to the left, put it away, and then I'm on my way. So we're going to be doing some Batman kidney punching over here. So. That's right. Huh. Ah, how do you miss that? Thought you had the drop on me, huh? Flower picking zombie motherfucker. 
All right. On our way. <gasps> Back up. <clears throat> you did. All right. That was short lived. And now we're going to grab a dagger. There it is. Try not to walk over the edge. Oops. There we go. Alright, this guy got a bow, so you want to go around him. Do, 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 do. the bow and a guy without a bow so I'm gonna pull the guy without the bow because you saw how I got stuck with that weird arrows thing just so it is equipped. Yes, two for four. All right. Glad I didn't break my shin on that. All right, so inventory. Let's do this first. Leave. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's definitely not as cool as the first one I got. Upgrades at least. Now let's see if we can help it not dying. Yay. And we. Alright, so we want to go back. Nope. Moving on. So as I said, I'm not doing the other sides because um, I'm gonna wait till I have something that kills the ogres for those. This is more or less like a speed power level. All right. Now we haven't been doing too good on the items. Um, last time I tried to make this video, I was bent on making a Cestus video. And then I came over here and they actually dropped the Cestus. <laughs> Let's see. This is like a good place to go just to... Because they seem to have good drops over here when you kill these two dudes. Like... Oh, one of my friends got a spear. We got the Cestus last time. Seem to have a high probability to drop weapons, I guess. What up, dude? Noob, not looting corpses. Alright, 
this guy is super slow. It's a lot harder. And he can hit you through the wall. So um, this is a low quality um, item run here, <laughs> getting some life gems, getting a few souls. the life gems. Alright. Don't go back there yet. <laughs> Those little pigs will kill you. Alright. I guess we're ready for the first town. For the first side quest, or quest, whatever. Let me come over here and get your old trusty, rusty coin. to the first bonfire over here. I'm going to rest because the dagger is kind of dying on me already. And then up here I'm going to go down this little path. Tiny, tiny little path. I think This jump right here sucks. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think I made that. So I'm just gonna kill the first two or three dudes and then bonfire it up. What's up, dude? Lots 
life gems. Now, my stats aren't that great to get any of the items I'm about to find, so I do want to rest up and get my dagger fixed. so far. What's up, dude? Hero. Don't really want to go over there just yet because I don't want to trigger the other guy. Huh. Yeah, that sucked. It changed my path on me. This is going to be a life gem. So if you see, my dagger is already at almost half. It's tough. Who sees me? Do you see me? You see me. You got to see me. I see you. archer up there so I don't recommend getting the other items yet. You can do a running jump right here to get that soul over there but I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to wait till I come back and kill the knight at a later time. Um, so let's do some equipping. This is pretty tricky if you, if you let them surround you. Now, if 
you miss this jump going that way, you die. Well, not necessarily, but you could die. The other way, it's not so bad because there's a when you jump in that direction, you can land on a platform and roll off of it. So I'm bypassing the knight because um, I'm not really equipped to deal with him. See, I don't have the stats for that. This is a tricky part of the game. I'm just going to make a run for it. Going strictly for the waypoint. Assess this, you can buy it there. Also, that's where you get the key to lock the get the blacksmith so he can go into his house. So I'm gonna save that for later after I level up to get a weapon. So I'm going back into town, I'm gonna level up. I'm gonna upgrade my um, flask and equip it. <laughs> for a high dexterity, high strength build. Um, I like the whip, I like Cestus, I like daggers. Um, I may, in my build, eventually go for magic, but I'm focusing strength and dexterity to start. And a little bit of vigor for life. 
Once you have them. Is that a shot here? So a shard in her pocket. To see light, however faint it might. So to use Cestus, you have to have 10 strength and 7 dexterity. And I think that's about sums it up. Um, that's pretty much getting started for a Cestus build and a deprived good basically I'm um, just getting out there getting equipped getting ready um, at this point I would probably go back to where I just was level up a little bit um, you can do item runs um, if you want to know where like the fire sword and other items are you can check out our other playthroughs on the classic gamer um, in our YouTube channel I should have lots of links following what I'm saying. Alright, so this has been GTP Slayer with the classic gamer.com. Have a